And it really was a parent's worst nightmare for one Corpus Christi couple. Last Friday, they got word that their 12-year-old son had been hit by a hit-and-run driver after school. It happened as the boy was leaving school. He was said to be in a crosswalk at the time. Our Brian Burns says a quick-thinking bystander led police to the suspect just moments later. Brian. Well, Joe, it happened last Friday afternoon after school as an apparent drunk driver plowed through a crosswalk, striking one child and narrowly missing a second. This is a picture of 12-year-old Curtis Johnson that his mom posted on Facebook this weekend to let everyone know her son was going to be okay. Curtis suffered a broken wrist and bruised back after being struck in a school crosswalk on Staples near Hamlin Middle School Friday afternoon. For his mom, it brought back memories of the two young girls struck and killed by a drunk driver last year in front of King High School on Staple Street. The minute he told me that I, he got hit by a truck, it just, my heart jumped in my throat and I flew back to when the girls had gotten hit. And it just, it brought me back to that and I got, I got frightened, I got scared, I, I didn't know what was happening and luckily I heard his voice and it was in distress. Andrea Johnson talked to us about what she went through Friday afternoon upon learning her son had been struck by a hit and run driver. I sympathize so much with the parents of the children of King High School, the daughters that, that got killed from King High School, and it's just, to me, it, 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 for us, we need to slow it down. For Curtis, he thought the driver would stop. I went to go across the street before he was there and went across. He had already gotten really close. My friend dodged out the way, but I got hit. A witness was able to point out the suspect vehicle to a passing police patrol car who stopped the driver. Police arrested 28-year-old Wilfredo Faz of Corpus Christi and charged him with driving while intoxicated. He also faces charges of hit and run. It's always concerning, you know, any time a child is injured. Um, the ch and in this case, the child was in the uh, crosswalk doing what they're supposed to do, crossing within a crosswalk. Um, you know, and we have an intoxicated driver that strikes a child. CCISD Police Chief Kirby Warnicke says the district is looking at ways to improve student safety. We have a crossing guard that serves the elementary campus in that area. We look at extending the hours. Maybe we can. Uh, uh, provide a little bit of safety at that intersection. Curtis's parents say they're already considering legal action against the driver. Now Curtis is expected to make a full recovery and tells me he got a video game to help him get better. Joe. Brian, thank you.